You guys need to understand that owning a house makes more sense than renting a house, right? If you rent, the money just gets poof, blown up, flushed on the toilet, set on fire. No matter what, folks, owning or renting a house, if there's a roof over your head, and if you're a human being, you need a roof over your head. You got to pay somebody's mortgage. Might as well make it your mortgage and not your filthy, greedy landlord's mortgage, right? Be the filthy, greedy landlord, man. If you can't beat them, join them. You know what I'm saying? And uh, somebody who's trying to do that right now is my man, Rich. Rich, you're out there in Colorado, and you got a very unique situation, player. You have uh, $57,000. Uh, and you uh, are determined to move to Ohio to start your real estate business. First, you're going to house hack. You're actually going to pay cash right now while you relocate, right? Your plan is to rent the other half of a duplex to a family member. You're going to rent one half. Uh, you're going to get your credit in income situation situated here. So you're going to pay for the house cash, and then you'll refi out using a VA loan once your credit and income is set up. And that's how you're going to begin your real estate portfolio. And today, brother, I have a deal uh, that will work for you, though. But as I've said in the past, I feel like your budget, I understand Ohio is much, much, much cheaper than Colorado, but your budget is so low in 2022. The only types of properties we're going to be able to get for you are going to be in incredibly distressed neighborhoods. Now, for those of you who are new uh, to life, uh, saying incredibly distressed neighborhoods, that's uh, PR speak for ghetto is fuck, bro. There's literally trap houses, drug houses, prostitution murders, all that jazz in these neighborhoods. Uh, if you're signing up for that and that's what you want to do, is it possible you'll make money? Yes, but as you're out of state, it is my duty to cut it to you straight, right? So if, you know, you're going to be buying a house that's neighboring a freaking trap house and freaking Kimmy Kim Kim prostitute is getting murdered every Thursday, I need you to know, because I don't want you coming back at me later like, Hey, bro, you didn't tell me that all the hookers are getting killed over here, man. What the heck? Ain't no surprises when you deal with Holton Wise, folks. We call it like we see it. So if y'all are looking for the most unbiased, unedited, raw, unfiltered, true advice at Real Estate Investing, you're in the right place. Please make sure you subscribe. And as for you, Rich, let's get into the numbers, the details, the property, the pros of your plan, and, of course, the cons of your plan. Because my job as a consultant for you, as a confidant for you, uh, as somebody who's uh, here to help make sure uh, you get the best bang for your buck, I am going to take your plan and try to shoot it up, turn it into Swiss cheese, because I want you to see all of the potential downfalls to what you're doing. And after all that, you still want to make the deal? Hey, bro. You're doing it, going in, eyes wide open. I'll help you out. Let's go. I am James Wise, and I am here to help you make money. I'm going to be running the numbers on a real deal. You want to be here. Yeah, we're going to go out of state, but of course, you know my team's going to take care of that. Let's check it out. All righty. What up? What up? What up? Now, let's talk about this deal. Now, Rich, let's talk about you and the deal, as a matter of fact, right? Here's the deal. Uh, we've been going through several uh, properties for you to figure out how you're going to get yourself situated. And uh, we've spoken in the past, too, right? Your budget is so low, bro. Like, so, 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 so low. Uh, that you're only able to to work in uh, neighborhoods that are like in the hardcore ghetto, very dangerous, very crime-ridden neighborhoods, right? Uh, additionally, you're hoping to get uh, vacant units, okay? Because uh, before you're able to like uh, really get things off the ground, you got to live there. You want to live there for a year. You want some place to, to relocate, right? So I did find you one. Uh, you are hoping to get a duplex that's rent-ready and vacant, and under $57,000. I'll tell you that that's fucking not going to happen, dog. It's you can, it's not going to fucking happen, right? Uh, you're either, first of all, just to be under $57K uh, for like a cash price on a duplex in 2022, you're going to have to be in like the worst neighborhoods in Cleveland, right? The most ghetto, the most crime-ridden neighborhoods. And that's exactly what this is, right? I made a guide. It's called The Ultimate Guide to Grading Cleveland Neighborhoods. I graded all the areas on an A to F scale. 
Any property that you're going to find, Rich, any duplex, is going to be in an F-grade neighborhood. This one absolutely is. Check the guide uh, below for anybody else trying to learn the Cleveland market. Uh, so you're guaranteed to be in, in a ghetto-as-fuck area, right? Uh, so that's one thing. So just so you know, location, you're going to be in a tough location. Uh, as far as move-in ready and vacant, that ain't going to fucking happen, bro. You're either going to find properties uh, that are distressed, all jacked up, the tenants got kicked out, moved out, whatever, the landlord's tired, they're over a barrel, they're done with the business, and you could buy properties that need a little bit of repair that are vacant, like this one, or you're going to find stuff like with existing tenants in there, paying or non-paying, who really knows, right? That's, that's kind of how the cookie crumbles. Thinking you're going to find something that's like, Already renovated, looking spiffy, looking beautiful. Uh, for this price point, not going to happen, dude. Uh, another thing you need to understand, too, about vacancy when you're in super crime-ridden areas. Uh, like this area, as you can see, right, you got some damage that you're going to have to fix up when you move in. Uh, but it doesn't look to be structural or anything like that, right? It just looks like some cosmetic stuff, like the tenants probably jacked it up while they were there, right? This unit... I'm assuming the landlord probably uh, just evicted somebody and they got all their crap in there. So, like, when you move, uh, you know, it's going to be on you, dude. You're going to have to get yourself a dumpster and start hauling away this uh, old tenant's crap. But, hey, man, look at that. You could ride that freaking bike. That looks like a pretty cool bike, dude. Uh, so, look at that. You get a house and a bike, bro. That's what I do. I make dreams come true, right? Uh, but it, it, it only appears to be cosmetic. But what you have to understand about neighborhoods like this, properties like this, is the longer these types of properties are going to sit empty, uh, the more likely you're going to get vandals breaking in and stealing all the copper, right? Uh, copper is a hot commodity for crackheads uh, and heroin addicts, right? Because you could steal the copper, you cut the copper piping out of these houses, and then you can go down to the scrapyard and they pay you uh, per pound, right? And then you could take that money and then you could buy some fucking crack and or some heroin, right? And then when you go fucking kill a hooker uh, down the street in one of the horrible vacant trap houses that have yet to been torn down, uh, you know, you could do it while, you know, you're fucking chasing the dragon, dog. That's what you do, man. You chase the dragon. Get all jacked up, and then you kill yourself a hooker, right? That's the kind of shit that happens in these neighborhoods, right? I just want to reiterate that point and hammer that point to you, right? Because it's my duty to cut it to y'all straight, especially if you're buying a house that you're going to live in sight unseen. I don't want you, you know, coming in from Colorado and then rolling up to your house expecting, like, white picket fence and, like, Happy families, kids playing in the yard, throwing the football, walking their cute little freaking labradoodles, and then you get there and you hear fucking gunshots and hookers being murdered, right? I want to make sure you go into this eyes wide open, okay? You don't have a lot of money to work with, so beggars can't be choosers. So this is what we're working with. This is probably uh, going to be the best condition of a vacant property that you'll find. Now, by the time you physically get into this property, will it still be in this condition? I don't fucking know. Probably not. It's probably going to be worse. But that's what you're signing up for. Now, as far as the address, uh, so you could do any more due diligence and research, it is 1100 East 74th Cleveland 44103 that just hit the market five days ago at a price point of 60 k Now, these neighborhoods, uh, you know, they're fucked up, so the values are super, super low. And I made several uh, prostitute murdering jokes here in the last couple of minutes. Uh, but that is going to lead into some very important factual uh, information that you need to know, Rich. Now, this is the house. Okay, and then here's your neighbor and then another neighbor. And then what you have here, just so you know, you got one, two vacant lots, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, didn't count that one, 108, 109, 
And then let's go this. That way. I already counted your street, but I went this way. 110, 111, 112, 113, 114, 115, 116, 117, 118, 119, 120, 121, 122, 123, 124, 125, 126, 127, 128, 129, 130, 131, 132, 133, 134, 135, 136, 137, 38, 39, 140, 41, 42, 143, 144, 145, 146, 147, 48, 149, 150, 150. That's 150 lots in the immediate vicinity of your house where there at one point was a house. But what happens is the cost to repair these houses when they get destroyed uh, by like criminal tenants, that the cost to repair them would then become more expensive uh, then they're after repair value because the neighborhood's in so much trouble, right? So 150 times that happened, and what then happens is the owners, they just stop paying the taxes and they walk away from said houses 150 times. Then the city then forecloses on them. Now the city owns them, uh, city or whatever, county, whatever. You know, the government comes in, takes the property back because they didn't pay the taxes, and then they have to tear them down because if you have 150 vacant houses in a neighborhood like this, again, I, I made some jokes, but like in reality, that's actually what happens, right? They become crack houses. They become uh, junkie dens. Uh, murders happen in these types of properties, right? They're actually very, very, very horrible and dangerous for the neighborhood. Uh, so in an effort to, uh, you know, minimize murder, minimize drug usage, minimize crime, the government has to go in and they got to tear them down. That happened 150 fucking times uh, in the immediate vicinity of your house. So, with that said, if you're still hell-bent on doing this, uh, that's fine. Uh, but you should know, I don't think you have to pay $60,000. I don't think anybody's going to pay $60,000 for this house. I think that would be an insane price to pay. Uh, I think maybe 40 would be like a halfway reasonable uh, transaction that we could probably get the seller to accept. Because, like, I'll be honest with you, dude. I don't think you need to rush, and I don't think you need to, like, hurry up and get your money in the ring. I would imagine there are minimal people interested in buying this house uh, because the neighborhood is really, really bad. If you are this far in the video, and we are not clear on that yet, I just want to make sure I reiterate. I think this is a very, very difficult neighborhood, but for this price point, this is all you can afford. Um, so if you still want to do this, I think at this point, I've made my thoughts on your risks clear. If you're still going into this eyes wide open, I think the proper price to bid, and I could help you put the bid in, would be 40 k not 60 k And if we take this down for you at 40 k since you don't have the ability to finance right now, you're going to put in your 40 k right? Uh, you're going to live there, and then you're going to rent the other side to family, to my understanding. Uh, so at that point, you probably really don't, I guess, like – I mean, maybe you're supposed to get it lead certified. Maybe you're not. Like, are you really renting it to family? Like, are, is it, like, free? Is it, like, a friendship thing? I, like, I don't know. That seems like a personal thing that you're going to have to deal with. Like, technically, when you rent this, like, to tenants, uh, these houses do need to get lead certified. But Cleveland is not making owner occupants get lead certified, right? So uh, I guess I'll leave that up to you if you want to classify your family member as actually a tenant or just, like, you know, it's an owner occupied house and you guys got, like, a handshake agreement. That's... Beyond me, right? But what I can tell you is the way the numbers work out, and then especially after you pull all your money back out, right, when you can get your credit fixed up and you could actually get that VA loan, you sure as shit ain't going to add, like, no value here, right? Yeah, you got to fix it up to make it, like, livable, but, like, it's not like it's going to appraise for higher than what you paid for it. So assuming they give you your whole 40 k back uh, because – Freaking got so excited over 40K, I broke my sign. Assuming they give you your 40K back because you're a vet, uh, you can um, get a 100% loan here on a house you live in. Assuming they give you back your 40K, after you factor in your new costs of paying off that mortgage and, of course, your existing costs of taxes and insurance, uh, you got a total cost for that roof over your head of under five grand. But if you really look at it, you're really saving uh, 
about 13000 right? Because there's a true real cost of $18,000 additionally for both those units, right? Because if you weren't living in your own house paying that 4771 you'd have to pay some other landlord nine grand a year. And then the family member uh, that you're either renting to or letting live there for free, they, of course, would need a roof over their head as well, so that's about the same. So in reality, like, it's an $18,000 savings to actually subject yourself to living in a dangerous neighborhood like this. So eighteen k, you don't have to pay to other landlords you do have 4771 of actual costs, but that's a swing in your favor of 13000 So if you could stomach doing that, you could see how uh, a few years of hardship uh, and actually muscling through it could really put some money in your pockets, and then you can go out and start working on other investments, right? So I know some people are like, holy crap, did this guy just take a crap on this deal for like 20 minutes. Yeah, I did, because it, it, under no circumstances will be easy or fun. Uh, but, you know, sometimes in life, when you do stuff, uh, it's hard and it sucks, but you do it for the result you want. Like, uh, for instance, right, like broccoli. Nobody's like, yo, bro, broccoli is so much better than buffalo wings in pizza, right? Nobody says that. Uh, but motherfuckers are still eating broccoli because, you know, it's healthier for you than buffalo wings and pizza, even though it's not enjoyable. You get what I'm saying? Kind of the same thing here. Uh, but, Rich, it is 100% up to you if you're willing to go this far to make that 13 Gs. Let me know. If you want to do the deal, my recommendation is to lowball these guys at 40 k because I don't think anybody else is buying it. Let me know. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.